Hello and welcome everybody. I am Christian Junta along here with Kevin Perez and Aiden Gunn and we are outside here in Milwaukee for game six of the NBA Finals in between the Phoenix Suns and the Milwaukee Bucks. The Bucks tonight with a chance to clinch. They are up three to two and win their first title in nearly 50 years. So I'll start with you Aiden. What do the Bucks need to do tonight to win their first title in 50 years? All right, you know Christian, this is a team from what I see, they don't have a lot of finals experience, right? And so I think they need to keep themselves calm, which they've done a good job of um, in the series. And I think they just need to stick to playing their game. Let's not get caught up in all this three-point shooting, not try to be too fancy with it, because they're a very defensively sound team, okay? They've got Drew Holiday, which is a very underrated defensive-minded point guard. Love him. And so I think if they can play through their defensive assets, not to mention Giannis. I mean, he goes without saying. Um, and I think if they can play sound defensively and shut down the offensive weapons of the Suns, I think they come away with the W here. All right, Kevin, now what do you think they need to do to clinch tonight? I mean, emotions are riding high, and yeah, they do have to keep themselves calm. But it's not only that I want to see a good game from from Giannis, I mean, he scored 42 and 40 the last two games. We need to see good games from the rest of his supporting cast, meaning Drew Holiday and Chris Middleton need to step up. The same goes for Bobby Portis, Brooke Lopez, and P.J. Tucker. It's a team effort. Giannis can't do it by himself. So I expect good games from Chris Middleton and Drew Holiday to get the Bucks their first title in almost 50 years. Yeah, you guys focus more on the role players, but to me it's all about Giannis. I mean, when... When he hasn't played well, when he hasn't dominated, they've lost. When, when he has played well, they've won. So play well tonight, score tonight, and they'll win the game. Now for Phoenix, they're trying to force a game seven back on their home court, which would be huge for them, obviously, to keep their season alive and with that great home court advantage. So what do you think they have to do tonight in Milwaukee to keep the series alive, Aiden? Okay, I see this as a very mental game, right? Especially for the Phoenix Suns. They won those first two, and now they have lost three straight. And so my message is actually somewhat similar to the Milwaukee Bucks. I think they need to play their game and not get caught up in the mental aspect of this uh, finals championship because emotions are riding so high and I see a little bit of desperation. And so I don't want to see hero basketball. I want to see them playing team ball. And so I think their, their um, big players need to step up Right? I want to see Chris Ball, DeAndre Ayton, and Devin Booker play really well. But I, I just want to see them kind of stay cool throughout this game, you know? Yeah, yeah, I agree. What do you think now, Kevin? Phoenix needs to trust their system. It's worked all year long. It got them to the finals. They beat the Lakers. They beat the Nuggets. Now they won the first two versus the Bucks. lost three straight. But one main factor for why, why they've been losing these last couple games is Chris Paul. Chris Paul has been struggling, and with him struggling, DeAndre Aiden has also struggled. We haven't seen the same Aiden we saw in the first two games. So Chris Paul needs to take it slow, get his game going. He knows he's here for a reason. He knows the team is there for a reason. Once he gets going, Aiden gets going, and it'll be a good game. All right, guys, let's just hop right into the predictions for tonight. Bucks and Suns, game six. Kevin, do the Suns force a game seven, or do the Bucks win it all tonight? I'm going to go with the Suns force a game seven. I'm looking for a bounce back game from Chris Paul. Devin Booker will be his usual self like he has been all playoff long. Maybe Crowder lights it up from three. And Aiden really needs to get it going. They need to attack Brooke Lopez in the paint when he switches. He's giving them too much space on the three. Just hit them. Now over to you, Aiden. I'd just like to apologize for our viewers for my, my partner's childish optimism. I'd, I'm going to go with the Bucks. They have this series on lock. Giannis has been so consistent. Chris Middleton is playing like an all-time all-star. And Drew Holiday has been on lock on the defensive end. I'm sorry. There is no way the Phoenix Suns are coming back. I have Bucks in six. Yeah, I'm going to have to agree with Aiden there. And guys, thank you so much for watching. I've been Christian Junta along with Aiden Gunn and Kevin Perez here in Milwaukee. Have fun tonight watching Game 6 of the NBA Finals. Thank you for watching.